Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of them videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan, I'm telling you. All right, you'll pick up a lot of knowledge there. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Julio Cesar Martinez is a fighter who's both amazingly gifted and amazingly flawed. That's why he's interesting to watch. Let's get into it. Martinez goes from constantly just standing in the high guard, then he explodes with a shuffle, pendulum step, or forward half step into an athletic stance, getting his weight on the lead foot to strike with lead hand hooks and uppercuts to the body or head, then follow up with a variety of punches in his complete arsenal. Martinez uses half-step foot feints and it's for two main reasons. Of course, one is to avoid being predictable and mask the way he attacks to keep his opponent guessing when Martinez will actually commit. The other is to elicit a reaction from his opponent giving Martinez intel on how to attack and where to place his punches. After he gathers information from his opponent's reaction or non-reaction, this is the result. What's clearly becoming a staple with every champion level fighter around trainer Eddie Reynoso, every time they're in a high guard, it can be considered a high guard trap. Canelo, Valdez, and Martinez all put up the shields to bait their opponents to punch intentionally, then either block and shoot or slip counter. Martinez has very intuitive head movement, so about 90% of the time you'll see him slip, then explode with offense. However, the pros and cons of Julio's style are equal. Rewinding back to the beginning, Martinez tends to literally just stand in front of his opponent in the high guard. And regardless if he's slipping a punch or not, he uses the front half step to sit down in the actual athletic stance and load his lead hand. As athletic as Julio's quick twitch movement is, the repetitiveness along with the extra time it takes to get set as opposed to staying set leaves opportunity for his opponents. When Martinez does slip a punch against his orthodox opponents, it's always a jab that the high guard trap tends to entice and the slip virtually is always an inside slip. On top of that, Martinez tends to drop both his hands as he punches and his chin is exposed. The whole setup is built around inside slipping a single jab. A jab feint that purposefully triggers the repeated pattern or a simple one-two could lead to a short night for Martinez. Plus, that high guard and high guard trap is a main staple to Julio's game. However, it's constant. There's a difference between fighters who switch guards and use the high guard trap as a tool from time to time and the ones who have constant high guards. Martinez can't control what punch is being thrown out the high guard and he's not going to be able to inside slip every single punch his opponent throws. So in many exchanges, he's relying on those high shields for defense and that non-athletic stance. Martinez ends up stuck in a relatively inactive high guard with a shaky base, so those holes get exploited and lead to long nights of taking punishment, hence the duality of his risky and wild style. truly entertaining regardless of the outcome.